a day with Dr Hamster. Pepper and Susie are spending the day with Dr Hamster. They are learning all about what vets do. It's very nice to have two helpers with me today. And I see one of you is dressed as a nurse. Yes, I am Nurse Susie. <laughs> I am Dr Piggy. <laughs> very good. I'll just call in the first patient. Lots of pets have been brought to see Dr Hamster. Thank you all for waiting. Next patient, please. That's you, Nigel. Grumpy Rabbit has brought Nigel the Newt in for a checkup. Nurse Susie and Dr Piggy are with me today. We are learning about being vets. Jolly good. Now then, Nigel, how are we today? Oh, good, you're fine. That's great. Just make sure Nigel drinks lots of water. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now then, can Nurse Susie and Dr Piggy call in our next patient? Thank you all for waiting. Next patient, please. Pedro is here with Stephen the Stick Insect. Hello, Peppa. Just for today, can you call me Dr Piggy? OK, Peppa. Let's have a little look at you, Stephen. Something's wrong. He's not moving. That's what stick insects do. They keep still and look like sticks. Oh, yes. Of course. So, is Stephen all right? Apparently, yes. Just make sure Stephen drinks lots of water. Goodbye. Bye. Can I call the next patient? Yes, please. Next! Oh, that's me! I have brought my two guinea pigs to see you. They're adorable! Mm -hmm. Ginger is clever mm -hmm. and Brian is sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yes? But now they have swapped around. Brian is clever mm -hmm. and Ginger is being sensitive. Mm -hmm. They both look happy to me. Oh, that's good. I'm so glad I came. Just make sure they drink lots of water. Next! That's me and Polly Parrot. Me and Polly Parrot? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Copies everything that is said. So, what's wrong with Polly? Polly's got a cough. <laughs> that is a very unusual cough. I've never heard a cough like it. <laughs> <laughs> Polly hasn't got a cough. Polly is copying Grandpa Pig. Copying Grandpa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no problem then. Polly is fine. But what about me? I really do have a cough. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa Pig. I can't treat you. I'm a vet. I can only treat animals. Yes, of course. Just make sure Polly drinks lots of water. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm a bit tired now. I hope we don't have lots more pets to see. The waiting room is still full. Oh. OK, everyone. Just make sure your pets drink water. Goodbye. <laughs> That's it. No more patients to see. We can call it a day. What's that noise? Look, there's a box moving in the corner. That's Tiddles the tortoise. He's waking up. What's he doing in a box? He's been sleeping all through the winter. It's what tortoises do. <sighs> you must be hungry after all that sleeping. I'm thirsty. <laughs> That's right, Dr Piggy. Tiddles needs water. That's right, Nurse Susie. Have you both enjoyed learning how to be vets? It was brilliant. The best day ever. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love being vets. Everyone loves being vets. <laughs> the tractor. Pepper and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Pepper, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur! <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. <laughs> 
That is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels. And a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! <laughs> it's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! Tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Peppa loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. <laughs> Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are. And it's tomorrow. Oh. 
I see. OK. Keep calm. Don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hello, Penny! Hi, Peppa! Grr. Hi, this is Penny Polar Bear. I've never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny! Have a lovely time! <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody! You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you! And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch! I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak! But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Grr. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right. <laughs> Biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish, it's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <coughs> OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! Oh, it's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. <coughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. Pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. <laughs> Today, children. I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww. They're so cute. This is Ginger. He is very clever. Aww. And this is Brian. He is very sensitive. Aww. Now, children, I am going on holiday next week. And I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me! Me! me. It's a bit of work and you will need to take them home. Me! Me! I will do it! Are you sure, Peppa? Yes! I love animals! <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. It is home time. Mummy! Mummy! <coughs> look what I've got! Oh! What's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. 
Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. Okay. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently, we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes. It is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. Yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Peppa. Brush them in the night time. Night, night! It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello? Daddy Pig here? Hello! This is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes. We're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> Peppa and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. Oh, good. Thank you, Peppa, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Um... Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. <laughs> Great big crawly safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Madame Gazelle? Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. Then let's go. <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. Here is Mr Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr Lion, you startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are, 
in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. <laughs> Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Rescuing Miss Rabbit. Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. <laughs> Here is Mr. Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Goodness, you here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or oh, a ladder? What a bit of luck! There was already a ladder here. There, finished. <laughs> Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr. Ball. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr. Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes, lucky for you. I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh. 
So how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grampy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. Families. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with mummy and daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, daddy. <laughs> Everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Nay. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the Panda Twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Go, oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy and he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. <laughs> Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? 
This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. Everyone loves families. 